see if we got anything up in here today. <sighs> a little light, a little light. Oh, it's getting dark early, y'all. A little power supply. Time changes uh, this weekend. So we're gonna be in the dark like all the time. But anyways, alrighty guys, a little power supply to start off this uh, dumpster diving extravaganza. Hopefully we find a ton of more stuff. Make it happen. Thanks for joining us, guys. Oh, let's get it. Oh, look like some saw blades up in there, y'all. Like something. Let's check it out, man. What up, Diablo? I found the devil in the dumpster tonight, y'all. And he got like a bunch of teeth. For ferrous metals. Metal. Children of a metal god. Got a little dumpster here, y'all. You don't see anything? Oh, I see. We'll put a battery back up. We'll see here. Oh. Yep, battery backups. Boy, we found a whole bunch of these the other night. Yeah, that's light. There's no battery in it. And it actually turned out that a lot of them had batteries in them, but these don't. I can feel that. I don't even know that that's actually got a battery in it. No compartment though. Ugh. That cat feels heavy though. Yeah, see, there's a battery. But yeah, that last batch that I found all that crap, all those busted old battery backups. There was a bunch of batteries, man. That one dumpster fetched me about 60 bucks at the scrapyard. 60 bucks. All right, y'all, check that out. It's a fridge, man. That is a bona fide fridge. Looks really bad though. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, premium engine cooler. What we got here, man? Oh, ooh, that looks nice. What the heck is that? That's some sort of manifold or something. Got holes in it. Looks like a piece of like exhaust. That's not a catalytic converter. Ooh, it looks like there's another one too. Oh. Looks like a legit piece of scrap. Let's see what's in this bag here. Uh, ooh, there's juice. Oh. What the heck? Air intake carbon choke cleaner. Diesel purge, concentrated diesel fuel injector flush. What? Breaking parts cleaner. All right, man. Yeah. Stuff. Oh, watch out. There's some nail. I got puncture resistant shoes on, but puncture resistant don't really mean puncture proof, eh? Look at that, man. Oh. It's a bit juicy in here, guys. I don't see nothing else, y'all. No, no, all right. All right, oh. Oh. Ah. I hear the police, man, y'all. I hear the police, man. Gotta be here, y'all. Ooh, I see something. See what we got here, guys. Yeah. Turn my phone All right. Ooh. What is this thing right here? This is DC power supply. Ugh. MCP. That looks old school. Old school. Down. Oh, there's a box of stuff. Books and such. What's this? Some aluminum. Got some aluminum. There's a bottle right up there. Got off the battery. Look at that, y'all. It's a box full of wires and such. Let's see here. What's this? It's a box that doesn't say anything, it just has a cord to it. Okay. Okay. Power MOSFET, MOSFET data book supplement. 
introduction to visual what what any dirty magazines no dirty magazines radio rf and video applications huh oh, that's interesting power modules designer's manual See what else we got up in here it just keeps looks like it keeps coming more wires and such there look at that baby see that in here that's out of here it's like somebody cleaning out a I don't know what they're cleaning out let's see look at that keyboard it's a gearhead for all you gearheads out there. Oh, there's a big core right there. Yeah, there's stuff in here. There's DVD drive. Get my books. My books right here. It's a better box. Ooh, look at that. Yep, there's a brand new keyboard in there. I know. Last time I didn't grab keyboards, now I'm grabbing keyboards. Oh, I'm a confusing cat sometimes, guys. Look at all that. These are for like electronic boards and such. Uh, let's see what we got here. Look at that, there's another box full of stuff. All right, I'm gonna just start tossing stuff. I need a bigger box, man. Oops. All right, let's see here. Boy, we got some stuff to go through here, don't we? Let's see here. Look at that. There's another box of stuff. Holy cow, man. There's another box of stuff. Ooh, look at that. That looks like some legit scrap. That looks like copper right there. Holy cow. What is that? Looks like pee. Looks like pee in a jug in a tube. Alright. Okay, these are those moss moss fots. Moss fets. M-O-S-F-E-T. I think that's what you're calling. Zip, 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 zip. Oh, we got squeaks. Hello. That's me, Mike. Mike's... Dude, you're my hero. Am I? I wish you had a baby with my phone we're going to take a picture. Oh, nice to meet hey, you. Hey, nice. Oh, how you doing? Sorry about the light there. I'll be your competition. Huh? I'll, I'll be your competition. My competition? We're well, going to have to get a truck if well, you want to. Well, man, I ain't got a car. I, I just borrowed that tonight, man. Okay, okay. Just, I'm just, you know, on the streets. So I just scrap a little bit to, to get by. That's all. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Well, I just came across this dumpster right here. This full of electronics really? crap. Man, oh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I found... I, I live off a bicycle on the streets and just trying to make it. I've been watching you all the time. Yeah, man. yeah, you make some money. Yeah, make some money in the trash here. Like two years. Really? A hero, man. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You don't mind I put you in the video, huh? No, man. Okay, okay. All right. all right, all right. Well, yeah, I come by here a lot. Yeah, I come by here a lot. Oh, no, 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 it's cool. I can board it out. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, I come by here a lot, and I've never found this kind of stuff in this no, dumpster. Oh, yeah, not in this one. You just down there in the middle, I find this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you, I mean, you just never know. Somebody throwing out stuff, so. Yeah. But, yeah, I got this one right here, and, I mean, it's just. I found a little bit more out of it. Maybe later on tonight, I'll find something. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right, hey, All right. Well, I'll thank you. I'll watch the video tomorrow. All right, well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. 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 Finally found Mike the scavenger. Yeah. All right, well, take care. Have you been back there yet? I have not. All right. I'll let you go ahead. I'll let you go ahead. All right. All right. All right. Pay it forward, baby. Pay it forward. Oh, my gosh. Look at all this stuff, y'all. This is insane. Look at that. Like, it's just, it just keeps coming. It just keeps coming. All right. There's another hard drive in here. That hard drive there. There's some brand new electronic boards. This is all, those are all heat sinks. Little 
little heat sinks right there. Let's see here. Traco power. Power module. All right. There. All right. Golly, this is bananas, man. There's some more of those MOSFETs. Look at that. What is that? Intel? Core i7? That's not a Core i7, is it? Looks like it's missing the thing. <sighs> Bananas, y'all. Look at all this. I have so much stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of aluminum right here. Get that aluminum, baby. All right, I think we got most of the crap out of that bag. You see here. Kind of these bags, which we sure do. More stuff. Ugh. Not a whole lot, though. Not a whole lot. That bag. Check this bag real quick. Ugh. All right. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, there's something in here. There's something in this bag, y'all. <gasps> Look at that. There's a Dell laptop. That's an old school laptop. Vostro 14. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Look at that. Look at that. That's a new board. Boy, I ain't hit an electronic hit, uh, lick like this in a while, y'all. More what? <sighs> Look at that. There's a voltmeter. Oh my God. I'm going to have to stop and find a good box. Ooh, watch your head. Knock myself in the head. All right. All right. Let's see. I got the modem. Empty, empty, empty. Something in here. More stuff. Oh my gosh, y'all. God, it's absolutely banana. Absolute bananas. Guys. Guys, look at that. Oh, there's the money right there. A while back, I missed one in the bottom of a dumpster. Look at those nuts and bolts. I missed one in the bottom of a dumpster. Everyone was screaming at me. Went back, it was gone. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these are the, what? Those are the expensive, those are going in my pocket. That's going in my pocket. There's gold in them. Uh, there's gold in there, y'all. Legit gold in there. All right. All right. Well. Time to move it along. Oh, wait, hold up. There's more. We don't want to pass up on this gold. There's more. Yeah, I think these are worth a lot of money. I think that's what the uh, processor is. I think that's what those are. So we're going to hang on to that. Make sure we got them all. Let's throw all that back there. Running out of room. Well, I'm not running out of room. I don't have any more boxes, man. Hold on. Man. All right here. Okay. Yeah, look at all that. There's another one. There's another processor right there. Some little gold prongs right there. All right. Any more processors? Okay, let's go ahead and dump this. I'm going to dump this into here. All right, dude, dude, this dumpster was a freaking gold mine. Absolutely gold mine. And we'll go through this tomorrow, a little bit closer, examine it a little bit better. 
and uh, see what all we actually have here. But I'm gonna have to uh, find some boxes. Ooh, baby, yeah. Yeah. Mmm. They're up in here, bro. Oh. Oh. I see a cubicle. I don't know, does it kind of look like there's something underneath there? Let's, let's take a quick little peek. There's anything up under there. We're not a cubicle, a wall, a partition. Partition, I see wire. I can't do much with these partitions though. I tried to bring them to the scrapyard once and they said don't do it. Because there's so much crap right here. There's more cardboard and ooh, but I'll take that. Like this right here. We'll clean that up. That's a piece of extruded aluminum right there. Yeah. Good money. Good money. A little bit of wire there, a little cat wire, kitty cat. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. I almost feel like I'm floating around on that juice. Let's see. Down there. Alright. Total nastiness. What's up? I think the, uh, oh, this is wet. It's starting to soak up the, it's soaking, it's soaking up, it's, whoa, it's soaking up the juice, y'all. Get this out of here. Ugh. Before everything comes, whoa, whoa, crashing down on us. Uh, whoa. Whoa. I see some wires. Looks kind of like coax, though I can't see. Uh, let's hop up in there and check it out. What y'all think? Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it says Cat 5E. Okay, we are in business. That's cat wire. That's that uh, exterior stuff. Oh, there's some extension. Got here two C fifteen gauge, three hundred volt. Oh, all right, rock and roll. See some cord. There's some more right there too. Cat wire extension cord. That's is that or that's that uh that cat wire. That's uh it's like exterior cat wire. I think I said that already. But yeah, so it's a little bit heavier, which is good when it comes time to scrap it out because they don't seem to like really dock for that kind of stuff. Let's see what we got. What this is? What is this is? E yo yo yo. E yo yo. E yo yo. It's a screen. It's like a little monitor for your heart. It goes on your arm. I don't know. You can go. You can go in my pocket. I'll put you in my pocket. I'll put you in my pocket. All right. And we got this guy right here. What is that? Nothing. These uh, these clamps, a lot of times they're stainless. It's got some innards, and uh, but you gotta make sure you cut that nut or that little bolt off because sometimes it's it's not so much stainless. It could be crap and it's sticky on the magnet. Oh, all right, guys. All right, let's get up out of here. My cat wire thudge. Dig up in here, y'all. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do we got? I'm up in here today, man. Oh. Nexia TC. Does this say bi amp? It's a bi amp, man. It goes both ways. Look at that. Holy cow. Is that cat wire or is this a mouse? 
That's gotta be cat, yep. Oh, that's old school, cat three. It's all right. <laughs> They'll still take it to scrapyard. Right, there's another one. All right. Ooh, check it out, we're here. Vasas Das. Xtron cross point. Okay. Cross point it up. Let's see, we got wires. We got mad wires, bro. Oh my god. We got mad wires up in this dumpster. We having it. We're gonna be getting in. Yeah, because there's some stuff on that other side too. Hold up, let's see. These are empty, empty. And there's something down there. Okay, tell you what, let's go ahead. Let's just climb on up in there. I ain't gonna be scared. Ugh. Let's see, we'll set this cap Ah, watch your head, watch your head. Oh my God. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Alright, stay up there. Alright, let's see what's down here, y'all. Whoa! We are definitely sinking. Sinking to China. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna toss these out, man. We'll put them back in, I promise. That feels kind of heavy. Anything, anything. Uh, it feels a little bit lighter. I see white stuff coming out, yeah. There's another thing down here. Stuff right here, right now. Let's see if you guys can down at the bottom. Uh. Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout. Right. Okay, I think we got look like a little snippet. It looked like we got some other stuff in here. My little off the box. Set that there. Alright. Oh wait, we got wire down here, y'all. We got more down here. There we go. There's some cat wire. Got the goods. Nice. Little box up in here. That is some good dumpster diving. Right there. Good dumpster diving. Look at all that. It's like it's snowing up in this. Shoo. Hey, what's up, Scrap? Yeah. Well, all right, good morning, scavengers. It's been out here working, sorting, cleaning up some stuff, uh, what we can, where we can. Uh, this is all from last night right here. This cat wire, that extension wire, most of that number two, not all of it, but most of it, but all that cat and all that extension, that was just from last night. Plus, we still got more extension to uh, uh, get up off of these uh, these battery backups, and we got a couple of batteries. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I cleaned up the... Uh, the uh the one dumpster that we found the uh cubicle stuff in here uh some of that crap i tossed out was actually cast aluminum looking good they have a big old piece of cast here cast here these little brackets are cast right here this this uh this uh square tubing plate here that's aluminum too that's an aluminum plate that's going to be uh 6061 
it's going to be painted but it's got these little buttons these little rivet things in here we got to pop those out cut those out however you get those out to clean it up otherwise they'd give you uh uh probably give you a breakage maybe secondary i don't know and then uh, over here we've got this piece of 60 63 we cleaned it up but as you can see it's got a little bit of glue on here uh with the scrapyard if there's any glue whatsoever a little bit of residue or whatever they're going to give you a secondary which is like a uh, a number two copper but it still pays really well if y'all saw that last scrap right there so yeah a little bit of cast aluminum there some little piece of that little piece i picked up at the end there that's a piece of sheet aluminum right there uh yeah, cast aluminum sheet aluminum extruded aluminum got a power supply battery backups spaceship parts here i still don't know what this is i'm thinking it's a car part probably for looks like an exhaust or something i don't know you can't see through it yeah, you can see through it so i don't i don't know but she's stainless so that's all good right there baby uh over here we got our choke cleaner our diesel stuff and our brake cleaner stuff and uh, i've got a couple of those books with the uh, electronic stuff we all found here but yeah let's kind of go through this electronic stuff a little bit now we got some light uh and see what we got uh we'll go ahead and start off oh yeah we'll yeah, just right here, the last steps here, we got the little Nexia stuff, little boxes. This is all audio stuff, uh, conference stuff uh, for businesses or whatever, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, they all slide into racks, good stuff. Uh, okay, back to brass tacks, the uh, processors here. I don't know why I couldn't think of what they were called in the video. I was like, you know, I was watching the, going back, kind of watching the video. I'm like, golly, it's a processor, Mike. What the hell, man? What the hell? But anyways, yeah, I kind of brain farted. But uh, yeah, I texted a picture of these to the uh, to my electronics guy. And I was like, are these worth anything? And he's like, they could be worth something. Is it an i9? And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, well, if you look on the back, you know, there's a little imprint here. And it's got a part number and kind of tells you what it is. Uh, so I cleaned it up. All of these right here, these are Pentium 4 processors. He said these are probably a couple bucks a piece at best. So these aren't worth anything, really. Uh, I mean, unless you have a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, the uh, i the uh, i series. I saw somebody on uh, Instagram commented too, like the processors, the uh, Pentium, like the i9 or the i6 or the i series, whatever. Those apparently are worth like good money like really good money but these these are just you know e-waste hang on to these try to build up as much as you can or you know just sell what you got here but yeah these are all going to be fours here and then these say uh intel core two duos so i don't know we got two of the duos two duos two deuces two deuces yeah but anyways yeah so we got the uh the little gold uh, processor dealios right there we pulled those out that was a good little find actually after going back and seeing the video too i probably should have uh just grab those trash bags you know like let's just digging through and pulling stuff pulling stuff out there's more like keepable stuff than trash and i guess in that instance that's when you should probably just toss the bag in the truck and then go through it you know fine tooth comb that kind of stuff but we got most of it folks we definitely got most of it i'd say we got 95 to 96 percent of it but anyways yeah so just it looked like somebody kind of tossed out the uh like a little electronic uh they have a little lab or something so we got some wires toss these over here lots of boards let's see what kind of boards we got here looks like somebody was putting together some mad science stuff but yeah this is uh I mean, there's some more gold right here, but that gold extraction stuff, I mean, you can make money. I've seen the guys on Insta, or not Insta, but YouTube do it. And uh, yeah, there's another one. And uh, it looks like some nasty stuff, and apparently you have to have a lot of it. So yeah, this is full of all these boards right here. Microchip tools. A little microchip says inspected 2015 so yeah this is old stuff old stuff not like like 80s old stuff but yeah got a bunch of these boards here a logic probe There's some trash 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 let's get this trash out of here see i brought home some trash guys i still brought home some trash with me 
All right, so yeah, so this box looks like it's full of just e-boards, a little bit of wire and such. Not a whole lot of craziness going on there, but cool stuff there. Uh, oh yeah, that one dumpster we found, the e-yo-yo. That's a, uh, a display monitor for something over here let's see we got the uh, traco power and then see these little black the little black heat sink here that's all those things i was pulling out of the bag in the video those right there those are all aluminum <sighs> uh touch monitor extender cybiz i think that went i think that came out of that dumpster um but yeah says so da, 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 da. this is all like the and forgive me guys my background's more mechanical than electrical i'm not very good like i didn't do electrical so per se you know my background i built pumps so when it comes to this the uh, electronic stuff you know don't 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 me you know because you know i just don't know but i know this is all for that stuff these are a little uh 50 volt ceramic mono it says five percent those little blue tabs there but that's what this is for all of that little crap that goes in throw this away all that little crap that goes in these electronic boards here that's basically what you got here you've got screws all of these cats right here these are those little prongs that we see you saw on the boards right here guess they go right in there yeah there's more of them so yeah there's all kinds of just this is good stuff, man. Sub miniature metal metalized polyester film cap. Okay. Yes, yeah, a little bit there. We can put our process. Let's go ahead and just stick our processors in there with all that other stuff right there. That's a that's a that's a beast all on its own, y'all. I think I dropped one. Oh, there it is. I've been banging on their fence over there. All right, so yeah, we got our e-boards there. Processors there, a little gold there. Let's see, there's... This is a... Uh, I think they call this a breadboard, I believe. This is nickname. It's a... A PC board. Square pad. A circ board, circ board, but I think that the, they it's a nickname breadboard. I think I'm getting better, guys. I am getting better though. I will say I am learning some things with the electronic stuff. But yeah, more boards, more wires, tons of yikes. But that oh, we can just take that down because this is just as keyboard. There's an old Microsoft keyboard in there, and uh, there's a new Dell in there. And then people ask me all the time, what do you do with the keyboards? Well, I'll be honest with you, like the newer ones like this, I'll hang on to, try to get, try to sell. These right here, I cut the cords off and I toss them out of the scrapyard. They don't seem to have too big of an issue. I mean, like I, it was the same thing like with the monitors. As long as you don't show up with a truckload full of nothing but keyboards or nothing but monitors and you toss one, of the, one or two of these here and there, they don't really care, you know, because I mean, when you're getting 12 cents a pound, I mean, what is that? maybe 20 cents so yeah yeah that is what that is so let me just set that right there uh but yeah that's what i do there and we'll put this back in here all right next box oh yeah here's the box that has the, the box to nowhere not really but there's a cool i guess it's a power supply but yeah you got the the wall plug that looks like a euro spec or something man that's 250 vac dude huh Oh, you know what this is? It's probably a converter. This, yeah, because that says 250 VAC, and then that says 24 VDC. So maybe that's what that is. Mm -hmm. And then here's the little. I think the processor piece is glue right on there. The little Intel thing of a jigger. But wires and such, computer parts, female to IDC26. Yeah, like somebody's like little uh, electronics laboratory, man. All right, set that there. Cat wire goes in the cat bucket. Uh, all right, let's move it along, y'all. Let's get to this next one here. And then these, I found these before. These are crap. Just cut the brass ends off of them. Other than that, it's kind of like a really small coax type of thing. Yeah, it says antenna on it. So yeah. 
cut those off if you want. If you want. I mean, there's not a whole lot on there. You can always just throw it. It's red pop. All right. There's the next box we've got here. There's our Dell laptop. Vostro, I think, was a 1400. I think I had something like this 10 years ago. Of course. <laughs> they never power on immediately, you know what I mean? I don't know. I'll see if I got a cord for it. I don't know, there may be a cord in the bag, huh? I don't really see a cord. Not in this bag. But yeah, I got a little laptop there. Oh, there's the cord right there. So yeah, we'll plug her in. Let me go ahead and plug it in real quick. And maybe there'll be enough juice by the time video is over, we can see if she turns on. Okay, so that is not the actual charger cord for this. Okay. Okay, good to know, good to know. Maybe if we come across it, we come across it, we'll plug it in. But that is definitely not for that laptop. Okay. Always check bags. See, we got a whole mess of wires here. Jeez, right. oh, please. All right, this one was full of, look at all those nuts and bolts. Holy cow. Just nuts and bolts and such. More wires, more stuff there. Kind of go through it, clean it up if I can. See, we've got a hard drive there. There's those MOSFETs or whatever they're called. <laughs> MOSFETs. MOSFETs. Uh, another keyboard. Set that keyboard with that keyboard. There's no within breadboards. I guess that's another little power supply, Thelio or something. This guy was cool. Look at that. Uh, I think the processor glues on the back of that, but that's all copper, huh? Y'all see that? Is it shining? Is it shining? Shining bright down on me? That could be expensive there, maybe. That could be pricey. I don't know. I'll have to see, but I don't think I've ever really seen a copper heat seat before. That's crazy! Anyway, alright, let's get see the wires here. Junk wire, junk wire. That looks like all junk wire here. Alright, and the key with this junk wire. Make sure we got it all. Uh cut the uh cut these little boxes off here. Scrapyard docks for that. I just grab a big old thing and dangle it over the trash can here. But yeah, let's see here. I just let the crap fall in. I mean, you could probably toss some of those into the, the iron scrap bucket or whatever, but it's a lot of plastic, you know, so it just is what it is. But yeah, junk wire. Yeah, there's the, uh, I got some, I definitely got to organize this stuff up here. But yeah, there's those little, the little guys right there. Those little, uh, I'm guessing those are heat sinks, huh? I'm guessing. Right, set that there. We'll put this cat, just put our stuff down. Oh, boxes of stuff. Okay. Trash. All right, so yeah, let's kind of go through this. One of these guys, I don't know what that is, but that's aluminum. It's aluminum box. Piece of scrap right there, man. I think that's a piece of aluminum. There's another big board. What does that say? Rejected. Man, it was rejected. D, D drive rejects. There's another hard drive. Let's see more computer stuff. Traco power, ACDC power module. Looks somewhat new. Yeah, 250 volt stuff. There's another one. It says quadrature. Quadrature. Okay, quadrature. Right. This is just nuts. There's so much. There is so much. Look at that. 
copper. There's some aluminum heat sinks. Says part number 7205195. It looks like a little motor, maybe. I don't I don't know what the what that is. Yeah, the heat sinks. There's more copper wire right there. Man, there is some stuff up in here, y'all. Holy cow, there's another breadboard. I guess you just put all your stuff to it and you create a circuit, man. Gotta create a circuit. Yeah, I did take DC circuits in college for like two weeks. And <laughs> then I had, I, had, I had better things to do. Got busier. Fish, it now. yeah, that's an old router. Uh, let's see here. This is a... Uh, Ooh, that's that's borderline number one, number two. Let's see, yeah, it twists. Uh, I'm gonna call that number two, just to be on the safe side. All right, let's see what's down in here, y'all. We got a box here. Cause we, I mean, we know this is all. Do not remove. Compound box. There's something in there. Should I not remove it? Y'all see in there? There's little green squares. I don't know what those are. I don't know what those green squares are. All right, more stuff here. Wires. What's that? That's gotta be for glasses, huh? I bet there's glasses in there, little reading glasses. Yep, that's gotta be for little reading glasses. Ah. <sighs> All this stuff, man. Okay. Uh, it's sticky. Yep. Yeah, I try to just clean as I unload. It makes things a lot easier. There's that, uh, this is, a. Uh, can you scrap this as wire? I've always wondered, it's like that banding wire, or that ribbon wire they use in computers. Um, come across a lot of it. Shit, what's in this box? I don't feel like there's much in this box. Well, there is, there is stuff in this box. There's another one of them little green things. What is that? Cornell Dubler? Oh, that's the uh, manufacturer. They don't really say what it is. Part number, manufacturer number, Michael Charlie 22 Foxtrot Delta 102 Juliet Dash Foxtrot. Not sure, not sure. But yeah, all the little, little thingamajiggers in there. That's capacitor. An empty capacitor. More boards. Let's see what got in this box here. Bipolar transistor. There's ten of them. In the package. In the package. What is this? Photo resist copper clad board. UK. From London. Overall guys, go get some tan and stuff. Cornell Dubler. I don't know what these are. That looks like a... Uh, I don't know what that is. Some compact dicks. Let's see more stuff here. Oh my gosh, y'all. Here's a little uh little capacitors here. That's what this is full of, that kind of stuff. There's a limit switch. Man, hold up. 
got a power supply something look at that there's a bag full of those little things too man eboard stuff boy we hit a lake last night huh somebody just said i'm done with this what is this oh look at that that's one of those uh God, when it comes to like electric stuff, I suck. That's one of the little donut shaped things with the copper wound around it. You see them on the electronic boards. Sorry guys, bear with me here. But yeah, that's full of that stuff right there. There, wires. There's more of the, those moss faults. All right, so let's throw all that in there. Beyond bananas, the amount of stuff in here, man. Okay, all right. All right, we are down to the last box here. It's a big one. Okay, so we got this DC power supply. I looked this cat up online. Ugh. They're going anywhere from like 200 to 400 used. Uh, I don't know how to test it. Don't really have a way of testing it. Although it would be nice to figure this stuff out, you know. I mean, if I'm going to be like in this line of work, you know, I should probably figure that kind of stuff out. But pretty good little find right there. Let's see. Let's and there's a board. That's not a motherboard, huh? Right, boxes. There's some more of those little audio cables. DVD drive. Voltmeter. Needs new leads. Lots of wire. Ton of wire, man. Woo! Daddy's got some wires. Yeah, I'm gonna go through this stuff. Ooh, whoop, 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 wrong bucket, man. Don't let them, don't be, don't be, looking. get that in your, mm -mm. another uh, laptop, or uh, this is a pretty cool little uh, keyboard though. It's actually metal, man. I don't see too many metal keyboards. Okay. Holy cow. Some syringes. Tuberculin syringe. Somebody's uh some electron it's a it's uh you know how the uh the, the junkies keep their stuff like in a little like sunglass pouch or whatever. This is like what the uh, electronic junkies keep their stuff in, man. Their needles and their copper. <laughs> they need it. They need it. Alright. Lots of wires here. My spot. Oh yeah, this was the one that had the good aluminum, man. This is good stuff right here. This is uh, 6061. You got to clean it up, though. Clean it up. You want to get as good prices as, as you can. I mean, got a little bit of Velcro, but we could probably clean that up. I don't think that'd be a problem. That little bit right there, put that to the wire wheel. But yeah, I came across a guy. I sold some uh, some uh, that uh, that sheet of uh, thermoplastic to. Uh, uh oh, my tail light's got condensation in it. Or my uh, bed light. Oh no. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I ran into a guy that uh, uh, I sold that piece of plastic to, that Teflon sheet or thermoplastic or whatever. And uh, we got to talking and, and uh, he says he buys this stuff. You know, he tries to buy it where he can because he, he uh, machines parts for robots or something he's got a little cnc machine he's like and he's like this type of stuff right here i told him i was like yeah i'll get you a big pile and what i'll do is i'm thinking i'm gonna you know be like hey dude i'll just give you a buck a pound for it you know which is about twice almost twice what the uh scrap value is maybe not quite as much but yeah about a buck a pound that way i make a little bit more money he's getting a heck of a deal and it's a win-win-win for everybody what is that i don't know what that is that's crazy but yeah all this stuff right here anyways yeah more wires 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 holy cow what a crazy night crazy score on that dumpster right there but anyways scavengers that is gonna do it man that was a long like going through stuff appreciate y'all everyone who's still here uh anyways yes that's gonna do it on this episode of dumpster diving guys i'm your host with the absolute most mike to scavenger as always it was a total pleasure be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel share it with your friends instagram facebook teespring if you are interested teespring 
stuff down below appreciate that guys everyone who's already got one as y'all could probably see in the video i was wearing one so go get one you'd be just like me awesome but alrighty guys uh yeah i got a little bit of sort to do but you know not too not too much not too much you know mostly just kind of just organizing things and and you know consolidating and putting things together that go together and probably gonna scrap out all the wire though but you know what it is anyways but alrighty guys whoo We'll see y'all on that next one. Hopefully it rocks like this one did. Peace. Bye. Mwah. What we got here, y'all? Go scrappy, scrap, scrap.